it's me, Kayla Argon, with another Funko video. Today we are doing Funko Throwback Thursday. It's a thing I'm going to do once a month. I'm going to find some old pops that I have and I'm going to review them. So today we are reviewing Andrew Clark from The Breakfast Club. I've had him for a little over a year now and he kind of has a funny story with this. So last summer I went to Ottawa to visit my cousin and some of my parents' friends, and I found out they had a Hot Topic at the Tangier Mall outlet, and they recently got another Hot Topic at the Bayshore Mall, I heard, so, yeah. So, I went to the, the Hot Topic, I spent two hours in there, it was an awesome place. So, I wanted to get a little something to be like, yeah, I went to Hot Topic. So, they didn't have much for exclusives, so, this was like one of the only two exclusives they had, and he was an exclusive pre-release, and he was on sale. So, yeah. So, I got him, and kind of because I'm, I like to collect movie pops, it's more pops I want to collect in, and he kind of has an interesting story, so, I do love The Breakfast Club, I've been watching the movie a lot lately. And my cousin, who also loves Breakfast Club, loves Emilio Estevez. And he is played by Emilio Estevez. And he also plays 2-Bit in The Outsiders. And, you know, it's one of my favorite movies. So, yeah. And this was, like, before I was obsessed with Outsiders. Coincidentally. So, yeah. I have, like, two of the Outsider actresses' pops. I'll show you a little sneak peek of one pop. I gotta do a video of. Upload soon. I also recently got Daniel LaRusso, played by Ralph Macchio, who also played Johnny Cade, and I did a custom of him, so, yeah. So, yeah, this is my Andrew Clark. I decided to get him, because he was a Hot Topic. And I do have a Hot Topic exclusive pop coming in the mail soon, so, wait for that. But, yeah. Like, he has a really great story behind him, why I got him. He was originally a... 15 but there was that buy one get one half off deal i also got a female pop but i think i can't remember which one got halved off but i think the female one was like really on sale so yeah so yeah let's open them and they had these like pre-release before they were like out in stores <laughs> last year because hot topic does pre-releases sometimes with their pops um they did for San Diego this year, they did first at Market Powerpuff Girls, and they did sell them in their stores. Um, they are going to release Powerpuff Girls again in 2017. But yeah, like, I really do want to collect Breakfast, Breakfast Club Pops, because it's an awesome movie. But they never sold them where I lived. And I kind of feel regretful, because on Kijiji, once someone was selling the whole collection for $50. Um, I kind of promised my cousin if I ever found an Andrew Clark, I probably would get it for her. Because, she, like I told you guys, she loves Emilio Estevez. She's, like, one of her favorite actors. So, yeah, Emilio Estevez is pretty important to my family. <laughs> and we're 80s nerds, I guess. You know, we like our Outsiders and stuff. But yeah, let's open them up. But yeah, like, they never release, um, minus Ferris Bueller's Day Off, they never release any of the John Hugh movies, Pops. They like, don't really release movie Pops, which sucks because I collect movie Pops. Oh, get out of the camera. But yeah. So yeah, it's... There. I actually had him open once, and that was for that Funko Pop conga line video. So, yeah. And I think I might have had him open them once again for my cousin. Because, like I told you, looks me like that's the best. But, yeah, here he is. <laughs> Sorry, my camera angle. There we go. So, yeah, that's Andrew Clark. He's wearing the Lerman jacket. Has his arms in his hands in his pocket. He has like the Milo Estevez hair. Really love the details on the Letterman jacket. And I love the hair work. Like, I really kind of can't wait if they ever do make outsiders. I really do want to see how they do his hair. 
how they do two bit hair. <laughs> but yeah. And I might do two bit next year. Because right now I'm busy, so. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. But yeah, he can move its head around. I always forget to show this <laughs> when I do openings. But yeah, it's just, it's, I love it. It's like, if you're a huge fan of Breakfast Club, you should really get these. Um, I found a bunch on the Canadian Amazon for like 10 bucks. So you can still find these around. Probably can get these at Barnes & Noble if you live in the U.S. Again, I live in Canada, so that's a little tricky. But yeah, um, it's an awesome pop. An awesome movie, too. But yeah. So yeah, I'm going to show the box for once. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's used to getting fallen on him. He's getting dropped. So yeah, here he is, has the sticker, it says Breakfast Club in it, on it, it's the movie line, they have the lockers, and then they have the other six you can get in the line, um, like I say, I still need to get them, and they did, they did this age thing, like, really no, but where I live, nobody cares about the age thing, they say it's 14 plus. And on the back, it says, um, I noticed this recently, it is the Breakfast Club is a trademark and copyright Universal Studios, licensed by Universal Studios, LOC, all rights reserved. I don't know why I just randomly read that. I was supposed to read the one on the bottom. And can I get this focused? No, I can't. Focused! Oh, well. But it says on the bottom, a note to parents. There we go. A note to parents. The Breakfast Club is rated R. Consult with www.fanmeetings.com for further information. Um, when the film did come out, it was rated R. Um, you're in Canada. It's 14A. Um, honestly, the Canadian film ratings are quite different. It's 14A here in Canada. I mean, I think... Like, every teenager should watch the movie. So, yeah. The rating thing's weird for me. So, yeah. This is Throwback Thursday. So, um, and I... Yeah, this is my pop for September. So, yeah. This is going to be a monthly thing. Because I do upload videos on Thursdays. Because those were, like, my only days. Like, really, like, upload. But, yeah. Andrew Clark. So, yeah. Um... Please like this video, subscribe for more Funko stuff, and comment. Um, are you a fan of The Breakfast Club or a fan of me the rest of us? <laughs> I don't know. Like, are you, you like you like 80s movies? Like, what's your favorite 80s movie? I have a lot. I do like Breakfast Club, and I also love The Outsiders because it's one of my favorite books or one of my favorite movies, and it's a really good movie to watch when you're bored. <laughs> and it's a good movie to cry. I usually cry at the end. <laughs> but yeah. Emilio Estevez, and um, thank you for watching this video, and stay gold.